Hello everyone, this is Anjuno Lafsa. Welcome back to Tech Enthusiast channel. I hope all of you are uh, doing well and all of you are also safe. So in my today's video, I'm going to show you one important things, one important and helpful uh, things uh, for all of you. Uh, this is how can you configure an SSID by targeting an Apple devices to provide better services. Um, as you all of you should know that uh, Apple and Cisco has a, a special collaboration, a special um, relationship between uh, two giant vendors. Uh, just because uh, Cisco designed their uh, wireless wireless products, wireless controllers, uh, APs, etc., uh, for prioritizing FL devices and uh, as well as other devices also. So they have extra uh, research on Apple devices. So how they can provide uh, better services for Apples and etc. So this this is also be applicable for others uh, um, devices such as uh, samsung um, oneplus and all lots of others uh, reputed uh, mobile operators and brand vendors uh, worldwide so uh, actually cisco <coughs> worked on uh, different um, technologies different uh, technologies to provide uh, better services such as um, fastlane actually fastlane is the one of the uh, important features uh, in apple devices and fastlane also uh, can be supported some others uh, devices such as uh, samsung and others also so if the devices support fastlane then the device can receive uh, better internet, better uh, internet services over the Wi-Fi. So, um, I also noticed some issues uh, of connecting Apple devices to any uh, to uh, Cisco wireless controller while uh, through an specific SSIDs. That's why um, I designed a dedicated um, SSID for Apple devices by con considering the Apple's uh, device uh, hardware capabilities and hardware recommendation etc so today i'm going to um, uh, show that how can you do that um, uh, for apple devices uh, how can you configure an ssid by uh, targeting apple devices okay <coughs> here, here we go i'm going to show that in uh, one of my cisco local controller i mean mobility express local control this is not my um, uh, main wireless controller recently i upgraded the mobility express uh, controller to uh, latest version such as uh, 8.10.113.0 i also um, uh, make a video on it how can i um, upgrade this uh, to this version from 8.2 point uh, something so there are uh, lots of features lots of useful features uh, for administrator also administrator and um, user and devices so you can review on it or you can uh, try this uh, firmware on your um, local controller i think you will have a better uh, experience and better um, services uh, through this firmware so today i'm going to show you how can you configure an SSID for especially Apple devices okay that's it uh, just click on that uh, new island here I'm going to um, give a name here it is So this is the SSID. Okay. Then wireless security, wireless password should be. Uh, here you can see some advanced functionalities uh, in according to the 
a previous farm. Uh, you you should not uh, see just uh, these uh, uh, advanced uh, functionalities in your uh, previous firmware. Um, uh, I mean local mobility express um, uh, AP based firmware. So that's why you can try the um, upgraded version and you may have some advanced functionalities. So here I'm give the uh, wireless password and security type was selected personal wp2 personal so then i'm going to uh, click on villain and fire, uh, firewalls here i need to add the specific villain for this ssid mm, to allow uh, to assign a specific villain i have to click here use villain tagging yes then uh, here you have to give the VLAN ID. Okay, uh, I'm not going to enable any fire, uh, firewall uh, on this SSID. Okay, now here is the main thing I'm going to focus traffic shaping. Okay, in traffic shaping, you can uh, you just have to enable fast. Time. This is the main features which is uh, recommended for um, Apple devices and some other advanced level um, advanced devices which is support also fastlane so application control visibility I am not uh, going to enable any other uh, function and this just because this is not a main controller this is a, a AP based uh, mobility express controller so I should not enable any um, heavy configuration and features on it so you may notice something when you enable uh, first line then the traffic shaping automatically selected to platinum i mean voice you cannot um, change it this is automatically selected so here it is i'm not going to change any other uh, functionalities on it then click on advance um here i'm not going to allow uh, more than 20 clients on it okay get okay, some advanced uh, roaming deleted protocols are also enabled here So I'm not going to use MDNS profile and others. So I'm, so I'm going to keep it. I'm going to keep it as default it is, as it is. Um, I'm not, not going to change that schedule. I'm not going to change that. This is should be done none. So finally, I'm going to click on apply. After click on apply, uh, you can see one additional SSI is already. I started to broadcast so when my Apple devices our Apple devices trying to connect with this they will be connected with fastlan with highest uh, uh, speed and other features functionalities etc so that's why I'm recommending uh, recommend to uh, create an specific SSID for uh, Apple devices so you will get a better services uh, via this SID so I think uh, this is going to be a very very helpful video for all of you I think uh, you can apply this uh, methodology on any Cisco wireless controller and you can add some uh, other um, uh, features additional features and functionalities from uh, wireless controller also so here it is i think this is going to be very very helpful a uh, video for all of you so i hope uh, you're going to subscribe my channel and hit the bell button if you don't want it to uh, miss my upcoming videos so i will try my best to do this types of helpful video again and again for all of you so uh, please keep in touch with me so thank you and goodbye.